hey guys today we're creating this awesome slot text effect right inside of adobe after effects what is up people my name is wisdom and if you're new here and you want to know how to make videos edit them right inside of premiere pro or after effects well smash that subscribe button right now because on this channel i give you tips on how you can become a better video editor like i said at the beginning of this video we're creating a slot text animation and we're going to do this totally in after effects no premiere pro needed and it's basically more easier than using adobe premiere pro so let's dive into it with the video right now as you can see we are inside the adobe after effects workspace and the first thing we're simply going to do is that we're going to create a new composition so click on that new composition body and you want to set your default width and height and set a background color then click ok easy easy so now next thing i'm simply going to go is that i'm going to right click on the timeline say new and i'm going to create a solid okay and i'm going to choose the color of the solid and click on okay bam you have that right there the next thing i'm simply going to do is that i'm going to create a text a horizontal text okay and i'm going to click on that and select horizontal text tool okay and then i'm simply going to type in numbers okay let's say we want to make an animation for 488 dollars okay animation for 488 dollars so i'm simply going to go with the text to right here i'm going to type in one two three four five six seven eight nine and at the top of everything i'm going to simply add a zero okay at the top of one right here i'm going to add zero okay there you have it now we're simply going to use the ruler guides in after effects to guide our text right here so i'm simply going to use ctrl r and it's going to pop in this guide you see right here and i'm going to simply look for a middle point and let's say we choose this place as the middle okay so i'm going to run here i'm going to simply guide the entire text just like this simply dragging the guidelines from the side towards something like this okay i'm going to guide the second one up to somewhere like this and the third one somewhere like this okay easy so now the next thing i'm simply going to do is that i'm going to set an animation for this one right here let's say we I set an animation for the position and remember i said we want to make an animation for 488 dollars okay so we're simply going to create an animation right here but first of all select the v2 and make sure the zero sits on top of the line just like this you can use the arrow keys to simply move them if your mouse doesn't work very well now make each number sit on each line okay so there you have it now simply we're going to set an animation for the position right here and we're going to go to a four seconds duration okay now i'm simply going to offset this y value until we get to somewhere around four okay so offset the y value until we get to four and make sure the four sits on top of the line okay easy next thing we're simply going to do is that we're going to use ctrl d to duplicate this so we're going to go ctrl d and it's going to duplicate that i'm simply going to drag and paste it on the second side okay using your arrow keys you can simply align them very well and make sure they sit right there on the line so that you have a good symmetry between each one of them okay so there you have it for the second one actually and now we're simply going to go to the p property of this text we're going to delete the last keyframe also so we're going to delete that and this time around what we're simply going to do is that we're going to delete both keyframes actually and now we're going to go to somewhere right here align the text here okay so this is it. so simply drag that and align it somewhere on the second line just like we did with the first one and then we're going to set an animation at the beginning for this also at zero and make sure they sit on the same line so we're going to create an animation for the position and go to the four seconds duration here we're going to offset the y value until it gets to something around eight okay so we're going to offset keep offsetting it until it gets to eight and make sure the eight sits perfectly on the line okay so then the next thing i'm simply going to do is that we're going to simply duplicate this one also say ctrl d okay and now the next thing i'm simply going to do is that right here we're going to open up the position properties also of this and what we simply just want to do is just offset the x value and make sure the x and we're going to play this back after all to make sure we have the right thing as you can see they are pretty much compact right here so we're going to simply delete this one right here and right here we're going to simply create an animation with the same position okay create an animation with the same position but just only offset the y value back to zero it's pretty much tricky if you take it this way but if you take it step by step you're going to simply understand each and everything so now once we're done with something like this if we play this back you get this smooth text animation and they perfectly align at 488 right there 
So the next thing we're simply going to do is that we're going to simply mask out the rest of the part. But first of all, before we do that, we simply want to click on Shift and select the three text layers. Right click on all of them and say Pre-Compose. Set our composition name as Text. Okay. Click on OK and it's going to pre-comp those layers. Okay. Now the next thing we're simply going to do is right click here, say New and let's say Solid. Now we're going to choose our solid color, let's say white, okay, and click on OK and say OK. Now we have a white solid there. Right click on the solid and say pre-compose and say white solid comp. Click on OK. Now we're going to create a mask, okay. Using the mask tool, we're going to simply know that this is the line for the four numbers. So we're going to mask from something around here, okay. As you can see, we pretty much covered the entire thing there. So the next thing I'm simply going to do is that we're going to click on this property right here and say alpha mats white solid okay this is the blending option from the text layer so we're going to click on alpha matte white solid and you see the rest of all the numbers and letter goes away leaving only the area that we actually maxed out okay now playing this you get that same animation but with only three numbers which is the four eight and eight so the next thing i'm simply going to do is that we're going to add in some dollar sign right there so clicking on that text tool again that horizontal text tool we're going to simply type in a dollar sign okay and there you have it now we're going to use the v2 to actually position this dollar sign okay click on that v2 or click on the arrow above and align this with the orders right there and there you have it you have a 488 dollar animation right inside of adobe after effect and as you can see it's easy and this is how to do it in other movies or other things you do watch online but there's something more we need to add to this and it is called a motion blur so double click on the text pre-comp and add motion blurs to them so click on that click on that and click on that and you have actually added motion blurs to them and click on the top one to activate them okay and right here on this panel if you play this the text has a little bit of motion blur then you can go on to customize the rest of the things like adding text borders text shadows or even drop shadows if you like but this is basically the um, beginning of it and this is how you can create a slot text effect right inside of Adobe After Effects. If you like using Premiere Pro for this instead, I've created a tutorial which I'm going to link into the cards so you can check that tutorial and see how you can actually create this same kind of effect using only Adobe Premiere Pro. That was it for this video guys. If you love this video, simply smash the like button down below. It helps me a lot guys and it also helps the YouTube algorithm to push out this video. And also, if this is your first time here and you want to edit like me, you want to know how to edit right in Premiere Pro or After Effects, then click the subscribe button down below. It takes no time, it doesn't take any money, just click that red button right now. And I'm going to see you in my next video. But before I go guys, check out the two videos on the end screen. These are the top performing videos on the channel right now. So click on them and go watch them.